dear students of class 7 today once again i am here to teach you the same chapter which i had started earlier today i am going to teach you the sixth para of the second page so all of you please listen it carefully and be attentive the king went up to him and said i have come to you wise hermit with three questions how can i learn to do the right thing at the right time who are the people i need the most and what work is the most important and needs my attention first similar three questions which he had placed in front of the wise men and the intelligent people those who were called in his palace earlier to find out the solution for these questions you know it very well in the earlier class i had explained you related to these three questions for which various wise people intelligent people that king had called in his kingdom in order to find out the solution to these three questions why he wanted to get the solution he wanted to get the solution of these three questions because he wanted to make himself very successful in this universe a successful king he wanted to make himself if he was able to find out the solution for these three important questions that is why he had called the wise men in his kingdom but later on as you all know it very well the various wise men had their answers different type of answers various type of answers which the king was not that much impressed with it he was not happy he was not satisfied so that is why later he comes to know through some of the sources that there lives a hermit in the distant in a wood a hermit is there who is very popular who is very well known and he is able to find out the solution to any such type of difficulties which ever is it arise so related to this now finally the king decides why not to go and meet with that hermit and place his these questions so that he would be able to get a perfect and a suitable answer and a satisfactory answer for these three questions in order to become successful this was the situation children which i had explained you earlier and with these same three questions today the king has reached to whom the king has reached to the hermit near his hut okay so this is the situation so let me go ahead and explain you the further paragraphs the hermit listened to the king but answered nothing and started digging again initially when the king requested the hermit with these three questions the hermit did not pay any attention at all instead he kept on digging and digging he kept on doing his work continuously without listening to the king this was the situation you are tired said the said the king let me take the spade and walk a while for you so what was the king's opinion here the king thinks maybe because of the continuous walk throughout the day maybe the hermit had felt very very tired because of that he was not listening to any other this may be the reason for which the hermit was not giving any response to his questions also this is what the king thinks and that is why he asks maybe you are very tired maybe you are very uh, fatigued so let me have your spade please give me your spade the tool which you are using to dig the soil so that i can do your work so that i can do the work in place of you i can help you to do your work of digging during that time you can go and sit and take some rest this is what the king urges the hermit to do here he requests the hermit to take some rest because the king realizes maybe the hermit is very very tired thank you said the hermit and giving the spade to the king he sat down on the ground by knowing such a very kind request which was made by the king the hermit also feels about it and instantly he says thank you your honor your majesty for such a kind words towards to me so he places his 
spit into the king's hand and then he goes nearby and sits on the ground and takes some rest and in place of the hermit who starts the work of digging now the king himself starts the work of digging for hermit's place so this is the situation here your children in this paragraph of the chapter one hour passed and then other the sun began to sink behind the trees and the king at last stuck the spit into the ground and said i came to you wise man for an answer to my questions now in this way after a long long time of digging the work of digging when it was over so the time was almost gone it was almost the end of the day the sun also had gone far behind behind those trees tall tall trees which were growing growing nearby so by acknowledging all these things the king now starts to have a talk with the hermit what he says i came to you wise man for an answer to my questions dear hermit i have come to your place with certain purpose with certain reason behind it and i would like to tell you who said this the king said to the hermit i would like to tell you that i have come to you with great hope with great expectations that today you are going to help me to find out the solution of my three questions i have come to you with three questions with me so that hoping that that you will give me the proper and the suitable and right answer for me with these three questions this is the purpose that i have come to meet with you my dear hermit this is how the king places his reason for which today he has come to meet with the hermit if you can give me none tell me so and i will return home but still it is your choice it is your opinion if you are ready to give me the answer i will be very thankful but if you are not ready also you can tell me i will go very much quietly without a single word i will leave the place and go away from here so this is the way that the king places his request in front of the hermit children now we move on to the next paragraph children here comes someone running said the hermit let us see who it is in the meantime when both the hermit as well as the king were having some conversation with each other in the meantime the hermit notices that far away from the distance someone was running and coming towards to them this is what the hermit notices and that is why he says here comes someone running so this is the type of remark that he made the king turned around and saw a man come running out of the forest and when the king also turned around to notice it what does he see he also sees that certainly it was a man who was running towards to them it looked as if the man was in deep trouble maybe he was in a very much serious problem that is why he was in need of a help it looked as if he was in difficulty that is why he was running in such a uh, manner and in a hurry he was coming and coming towards to the king as well as the hermit there was blood flowing from a wound on his leg what does the king not next notice the next he notices that there was a wound in one of his leg and the blood was flowing out of that wound the blood was oozing out from the wound where it was caused when he reached the king he fell to the ground as soon as the man reaches near to the king instantly he happens to fall down in front of the king moaning feebly and starts bitterly crying bitterly making certain peculiar sounds because of the pain because of that severe pain which it was caused into his wounds in his leg so this was the case children which the king noticed at the moment which it was happening with that strange man the king washed the wound as best he could and bandaged it with his handkerchief so the king also now here does his best he washes his wounds properly very neat and clean and after that with the help of his handkerchief 
he removes a handkerchief from one of his pocket and help the wounded man to bandage his wound properly with the help of it and very next to that and with a towel the hermit had not only with the handkerchief he bandages his wound but also he uses the king uses the towel whose towel it was hermit towel to cover it up properly so that the wounded man could feel comfortable at the moment when at last the man felt better the king brought fresh water and gave it to him so later on children when it was found after such a treatment which, which it was provided to him by the king himself the king realizes that now after some time the man had started to feel better so in this now the king likes to bring some fresh water for the man and he goes and bring some fresh water and give it, give it, gives it to him so that he would feel much more better now meanwhile the sun had set and it had become cool by this much of the time already the sun had set now the day was over and now the the night had started to grow that is why it was now quite cool atmosphere at the moment so the king with the hermit's help carried the wounded man into the hut and laid him on the bed in this way you see children with the help of the hermit the king along with hermit both of them together help the wounded man to carry him with their arms to take him to the hermit's hut so that the wounded man could have a complete rest over there throughout the night in this way the king decides to take him with the help of the hermit to place him inside the hut for the complete rest so that he will not suffer so that he will not starve so this was the reason for which the king had shown a great passion a great kindness towards to such a person who was in need of help in that particular situation this is what we come to know here children about the king's kindness king's attitude king's uh, his character the type of king was he if everything that we are able to understand here so that the hermit also come to know that what type of king he was for his general people so in this way you see lying on the bed the man closed his eyes and was quiet in this way he feels quite comfortable there inside to lay down on the bed after laying down on the bed very soon he finds himself that he had already closed his eyes and he was quite very silent at that moment because he was in relief now earlier he was severe in pain but now after such a treatment provided by the king himself now he was feeling better this is what we come to know the king was so tired from his walk and the work he had done that he crouched down on the threshold and fell asleep and all of, all of us we know very well that the king also had a long long walk to reach here in the hermit's place he had a very long journey ahead earlier so because of that he was very tired already and beside that he also had done a lot of work for the hermit he had done the work of digging lot of digging work that he had performed so that he could give some rest to the hermit so regarding this now from the both the ends one side he had walked a long distance on the other he had done a very very hard work because of this the king himself was very tired that is why when he happens to just sit, sit over the threshold of the hut threshold means that entrance the door where we enter isn't it there he had just sat for a while instantly he falls asleep dear children this shows that the king was also really very tired and feeling sleepy when he awoke in the morning he found that the wounded stranger was staring intently at him so the night was over it was a new day the morning hour when the king wakes up in the morning time what does he notice he notices that already that strange man 
to whom he had treated the earlier day was sitting just near by him and he was staring towards to him in a very intently manner intently means with full of curiosity with full of uh, interest and full of curiosity in mind he was looking towards to the king at that time this is what the king notice children looking towards to him intently forgive me said the man in a weak voice the man the wounded man apologizes in front of the king king i am sorry your honor your majesty i have made you to walk so much for me so for this i am really sorry for it i beg your pardon i ask sorry for it this is how the wounded man ask sorry in front of the king in a very weak voice in a humble tone in a polite manner he talks with the king when he saw that the king was awake and was looking at him this is what it had happened children here i don't know who you are and have nothing to forgive you for said the king why you are asking sorry to me because i don't know you at all who are you where are you from and above all you have not done anything at all what mistake that you have committed what the wrong thing that you have done you are asking sorry for it you need not have to ask sorry for it you have not done anything wrong you are helpless you were in search of help at that moment so whatever our duty it was at that time that is what we have done a human beings duty towards another human being whenever in distress whenever in sorrow in trouble in difficult situation this is what we should do for the others that is why you don't have to feel sorry for it you don't have to apologize for it so this is what this is how the king likes to remind the wounded man by telling such very sweet words to him so that he will feel more and more comfortable so in this way we come to the end of this paragraph as well as the chapter i'm sorry the page children the rest of the uh, paragraphs i will be teaching you in my next class so thank you very much children